Hello guys and welcome back. So I am, you know, we're going to be doing pick a card with Loki. As always, take this or any other reading with a grain of salt. You want to take it for entertainment, that's fine. Um, I'm running on about four hours of sleep, so hopefully I don't drop the cards on the floor. We are going to have three decks this week. First deck this week, up this week, is Rebel Deck. Second deck is going to be your Mermaid Oracle Deck. And your third deck is going to be the Unicorns deck, and everything is going to go on the floor if I'm not careful. So, first deck, and I got, ooh, flip the deck over, go the other way. So your first deck is the Rebel deck. As you guys know, the language can be a little salty on this one. Okay, I've hit over 44 seconds, so I think we're safe to get advice from this deck. Top card or bottom card pick, more or less, if a god says so. I got top and bottom, please. Your top card is... You are loved. Wow. Um, he had me mix these a certain way. In fact, he hardly had me touch the cards, but you are loved. So, you know, I think a lot of times people are, we're all tend to do this because we're human. We try to seek validation or proof or signs that we're loved by the gods. You are loved. You got it in a card. So you are loved by Loki. I got very good. Bottom card is... You are being shady. So, are you being shady about something? Are you trying to get away with something? Are you hiding something from Loki? I just went through that experience and it's not fun. And sometimes you think you have an excuse. Well, I'm not going to tell Loki because I'll tell him when it's over. Or I don't want to tell him. Or he might not like me. Or, you know, maybe you're being shady towards people. Throwing shade at people. You know better than do that with Loki around. So, okay. I got, yep. So next deck is your mermaids. Top card is going to be, and again, he had me very lightly shuffle these. Wave of power. A surge of power, upswinging energy, exhilarating movement. <laughs> I couldn't get my channel shut down. So yeah, she's just, um, she's doing yoga. Yeah, she's doing yoga. And... <laughs> She's really enjoying those waves. So, upswing of energy if you're feeling flagging and everything else, provided you've seen your doctor, you know, this doesn't replace medical advice. Um, you know, you're looking towards an upswing of energy, provided it's not a medical issue. That sounds like a good thing, yeah? Okay, so we're going to go with bottom of the deck is going to be... Endurance, keep going. So yeah, maybe you are going through a medical issue right now. Like I'm going through something, so it's it's kind of front of my mind. And keep going. There, it had to start. It has a middle. It has an end. You know, keep going. Have endurance. You know, you are going to make it through. If Loki's telling you to have endurance, have endurance. He knows what he's doing. I got yeah. He's tired too. I think when I don't sleep, they don't sleep. So it's really interesting. And your final one is going to be the unicorn something something. We got like two, no, about four hours of sleep. Three, four, I don't know. They weren't good quality hours either. Um, freedom. Uh, live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Choose your independence. Okay, I'm getting wet to that towel on you. Okay, choose your independence. A lot of times we give up our independence and our freedom. I'm not talking about, like, things you like to do that you're happy to do. Like, having children or having a marriage or having a friendship or something. Every kind of time you go into a relationship, you are giving up a bit of your freedom. Sometimes, though, we give up too much of our freedom because we like all the stuff that comes up with giving up our freedom. Like, well, they're a really crummy person. Obviously, if they're really bad, please go somewhere safe and get help. But, you know, they're a really crummy person. They treat me terribly, but, oh, they're rich and they take me places. Or, oh, they buy me gifts or something else like that. That is not worth giving up your freedom. All the good stuff in the world is not giving up worth giving up your authentic self. So I got very good. And your bottom is gentleness. That is nice. I like that one. Um, Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. Okay, yeah, this one is especially hard for people in the pagan community. Um, not so much, I think, for Lokians, but for people that deal with Odin. Um, there's this 
kind of idea. You have to be all OP, you know, overpowered. You have to be ultra, well, you know, it's Gay Pride Month. You have to be really butch. And you have to be, like, you know, hyper-masculine no matter what your gender is. And there's only two genders because, well, you know, the rat's nest you can get into with that. But, you know, gentleness is not something that even in our culture, we have a very militaristic culture, a lot of us. And, it's not something that we focus on and we should. You should celebrate your gentleness. You should celebrate your kindness. There's nothing wrong with you. So if you're one of those people that you're, you know, you're playing a game and you're playing peaceful or you do art and it's pretty or you decorate and it's all gentle and, you know, society's like, oh, you can't do that. You have to be rough and tough and or you don't have to. It's, you know, um, doesn't matter what your gender is. If you have one doesn't matter your age, you do you. Be gentle, be kind, um, celebrate that in you and your gods. So I hope that, I hope that made sense. I hope that was in English. I grew up with multicultural, so sometimes I slip into, actually, if I get tired enough, I'll start speaking Polish or kind of Italian. So, so you know, um, I know I'm not making sense. I'm sorry, my brain is right. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. May the gods grant me sleep tonight. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.